Um, I'm Adom and uh, from Sri Lanka and I'm very excited to be here because uh, I've been wanting to come for the event for like four years and last year I got so close, uh, got rejected for a visa <laughs> for Canada because uh, apparently the, the people in the embassy thought uh, I would uh, stay back in Canada and give up sunny Sri Lanka. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so I'm going to just uh, run through this. So I'm um, from Sri Lanka and we are working on uh, fonts with a few friends and uh, this is uh, one of the, the font projects that we did uh, in the display. So this is like, uh, I, I just put this together to kind of show you like the, the scale of the, it's, it's not very big but uh, the singular character set, like this is the, the, the Latin character set at the, the very end. Uh, it, it has all the, the numerals and uh, punctuation as well. So if you are actually just working on a singular font, it will have a lot more characters. And um, yeah, so th this is a the kind of microsite like we are still working on it, but um, it's 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 the uh, kind of display of things that we do. And and um, I mean, so one thing is um, for our languages, um, the publishing industry and everybody it still uses. ASCII encoded fonts, and um, this Abe is like a uh, made in 1996 by a <coughs> designer who's currently selling fonts for publishing industry with the, his own proprietary encoding, and um, so Google uh, supported to kind of get his uh, work and be expanded, and it, this is like the, the first ever singular font which has more than one weight, like a bold and a regular and uh, more than that uh, what's interesting is because of the, the kind of uh, ASCII old fonts can only have uh, 250 like the, the character set so you can see this is um, I'm switching between the old ASCII font and the, the new uh, Unicode interpretation I mean if you can just uh, see a bit closer Yeah, I mean, um, you can see uh, things like, uh, yeah, here, here, this character, I don't know if it's, uh, yeah, and, and obviously these kind of things are, uh, most of what happened was because of the restrictions that had with the character set, all these languages were kind of minified and adapted and changed and with Unicode we can do all these nice <coughs> things. And, um, and and another thing that we did is uh, kind of we have these uh, alternate uh, forms. Yeah. So okay. I'm running out of time. Right. Okay. Um, I'll just uh, move on to the important part. these fonts, uh, none of the uh, desktop publishing softwares, including um, InDesign, cannot out of the box render any of these texts and therefore the whole publishing industry is still using ASCII fonts. And um, we have all these fonts and actually nobody is going to use it for graphic design except web design of course it will be used. But I can show you this, so you can see this is like actually a real website launched like a few weeks ago and it's using uh, ASCII font on the web <laughs> as a, so this is like not searchable or anything. I stumbled upon this because I was actually looking for ASCII encoded single uh, website. That's why I stumbled upon it. Otherwise, I mean, someone who's looking for this website would never find it. 
So, um, so InDesign has some uh, stuff working right now, but the problem is uh, the, the latest versions are only properly supported and uh, the publishing industry, they can't, they don't want to switch to the new versions and they won't and uh, the whole, uh, whole thing with licensing, the whole idea is a bit vague as well. And uh, the, the, the another thing is Coral Draw is like the, the, the de facto software in the, the low level uh, graphic houses or so places that do prints and things like that. And uh, it, they also, they I mean, they, they can't also use Unicode fonts because it's not properly supported. And uh, the thing is, what I want to kind of specify and tell you is I'm a huge fan of uh, softwares and uh, I would like to use our fonts in the softwares that we use, that I like to use in Scribbles, in uh, all these softwares and it's, it's uh, not supported. I mean, um, Inkscape, uh, the, the Mac, okay. Yeah, some, some softwares it, it works and but in others, it's half broken and things like that. And I was really excited to see yesterday the Scribbles CTL branch is actually working. And for the first time in any software, like DTP software, I can actually see single properly rendered. So it was like, <gasps> yes, finally. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can use HTML uh, to print or like all these systems, but I can't. We are launching the fonts uh, like a big promo kind of thing because Sri Lanka is small so when, we, when I say like big promo it's compared to like very small but uh, <laughs> still it would be amazing if we can kind of tell if I can make fun of all the people using InDesign and tell okay Scribbles supports Unicode just use it and uh, and it, it, it is I mean even it, I think it would be in some cases actually commercially kind of selling the, the, the support and copies and kind of setting up infrastructure. I'm not talking about big publishing houses, they're not going to switch ever. And um, last year, like in India, they were like presenting all these type new Indian type projects and some uh, publishing, uh, some people from publishing industry was like, we are making, we are using PageMaker and our software don't support Unicode, you have to make our encoding, uh, make these fonts for our encoding. So yeah, I mean, it's it's all the like the, the the fonts put out by Google is open source. So I was thinking maybe someone can actually make a business out of it, converting all the Unicode fonts back into <laughs> those fonts. But that's not the way we want to go, I guess. Um, and the uh, <clears throat> other yeah, okay. So I'm out of time, um, and I missed. I, I, I'm just gonna take my time out of the two questions. And uh, <laughs> you can ask me questions later. So uh, I guess that if that's fine. Uh, so it's it's just that uh, the scribbles guys asked me to scribbles guys asked me to set up some testing documents to test the fonts. And uh, I thought since all these type designers, we have the testing documents, testing strings for even like the very edge cases, we have testing strings set up. So uh, I'm going to set up like I already have a set up like a GitHub repo, and um, uh, what we can do is like a, maybe like a make a sample idea of uh, how uh, the testing strings. If I can just quickly grab, grab this. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, uh, I'm trying to make like a, a structure of folders uh, so people could. You could kind of t uh, tell me a specification of what kind of file you want to be able to test uh, text features and uh, then I can uh, just get all these text strings and put it together for your testing purposes or my testing purposes. I already have templates for uh, Inkscape, Scribbles and uh, Gimp and everything when you know like there's like some like new something build that comes out I just open the templates and see if it works but yeah. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Sorry about that.